What's up guys? I'm up kind of early, uh, or at least earlier than usual. Uh, today, Wednesday, is the day that I film my tech show normally for Thursday. Uh, so I'm going to try to get that knocked out early uh, and out of the way. Because my mom's off on Wednesdays. It kind of stinks because that's the one day that I'm normally like at the house. Because like I, I normally weekly do a video on Wednesdays. Um, for Thursdays and my mom's off on Wednesdays and that's the day I can go see her so that's why I'm getting my video done early today so that way I can go and see her new doggy she got uh, today it's a pit bull if you didn't see in yesterday's vlog you'll probably see it in this one so stay tuned later in the vlog and uh, that should be exciting but right now I'm heading out to get me a sun drop because I want some soda to start off the day I'm getting all work done early I'm waking up I'm being motivated I'm gonna at least treat myself to a sun drop because I need something to get me going Woo! <laughs> I do feel a lot better when I have a sun drop or some kind of soda in the morning. I really do. It gets me going better. <sighs> this is that get me going juice. Yummy. Uh, start my morning off right, son. Woo! Doesn't look good. Let's get some stuff done. <laughs> Ooh, Matt got Dookie on his butt. <laughs> Gray is wiping it off. Uh, uh. Matt. No, 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 no. Oh, <laughs> he was embarrassed. Oh, he's trying to put his butt down on the blanket. <laughs> he knows he's got a dirty butt. He knows. Matt. It's so uncomfortable. My booty hurts. You're going to wipe it again? Yeah. Oh, God, Matt. Get up. Clean it off for him. Let me get your booty. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> ew, ew. Oh, don't sit on it. <laughs> he's like, Mom, why are you touching my butt? Oh, oh God, you stink. You need a bathroom. Uh, okay. Um, you guys have fun with this. I'm gonna go work. Go back to that. Sorry, Mac. <laughs> Getting your butthole tampered with. I just gave someone a bath, and he's really what excited. excited. I just gave him a bath, and he's so excited. Yeah, I'm clean. Yay! I have to dry you still. I have to still dry you a little bit because you're a little damp. <laughs> Oh goodness, you are just a dork. Hey Nick! Hey buddy! Mm, you're wet. I didn't get to give him you're a full... sloppy wet. A real full bath. <laughs> but I cleaned your butt. That's all that matters to him right now. You playing fetch now? But my butt's squeaky clean! Oh, he's eating at the couch wet. Yuck. No, oh. You need to dry him off. Get off the couch. <laughs> Come on, Mac. Look at Let's dry so you. Weird. So we are going to go see Ty's mom's little dog that she's fostering, and I really kind of wanted to have a little public service announcement. Rowan. Announcements, Rowan. We're going to see Rowan, and I want to have a little public service announcement and kind of stress the fact of doing this. Now, if you have a local shelter near you, which I'm sure you do, uh, see about volunteering to help out the dogs and help out the people there at the shelter trying to help and find new homes for these dogs. A lot of the time, or hopefully less of the time, but some of the time, a lot of the shelters can be kill shelters, which means that if the animal's in there for too long of a time or far too long, they get, they're given like a, a time that they can stay in there. And if they exceed that time, they are killed. And that's not nice, that's not good. So maybe if you and your family can foster, see about doing that. And I know that you can foster up to a certain amount of animals and actually it's a pretty decent amount. Um, and if you love animals and if you enjoy taking care of them, then maybe that's a good idea. And if you don't, like say you wanna get a pet, but you don't wanna, like your parents like don't really wanna keep a pet, but you want one, maybe see about fostering because then you can take care of an animal for a little while, maybe show that you can be responsible and maybe they'll adopt it or you can find a good home for it. And it's good and because you, you, save a, you save a life, you save lives doing that. And even if you can't foster, if your parents and your family doesn't allow it or wherever you're living, it's, you just can't do it, then volunteer at the shelter and help take care of the animals and show them love. And, or just, and, just go walk the dog. Yeah. Like, those dogs, they, like they don't have much time, some of them. Yeah. So just a walk, like that's, you're giving them something that they wouldn't have normally had. Most of the time they're stuck in those little tiny cages on those cold concrete floors. Man, what you doing with your bike? Don't be going in the middle of the road. Jeez. But a lot of the time they're in all those cold, sad shelters and the kennels and they're stuck there and going Horrible. and walking the dog would make their lives so much better. So go do that. That's something I'm really passionate about and eventually I'm going to open up a shelter. I know I am. It's just going to be a matter of time and it's going to be fun. But yeah. A little public service announcement. Yeah. Watch. We're going to want to keep it. 
I know I will. I'm gonna be like, oh, I just wanna take it home with me. Cause I do, I wanna take all the doggies home. <laughs> also, it's not only specifically for dogs, it's for cats and whatever other animals may be in the shelter. So if you're a cat lover, you can do it too. So yeah, okay. I'm done. <laughs> you're hey, so buddy. Cute. Hey. Look at oh you. My God, oh my gosh, can look we... at his eyes. Daisy. Stay in, Daisy. Stay in. Hey, buddy. Hey. hey. How's it going? You're skinny. Oh, you're, you're a skinny little guy. Hey. Hi. Oh, my hey. God. He's so teeny. <laughs> oh. He likes me. Tails a wagon. He did something else a minute ago and he got up on me. Yeah, he I likes that. He, he wants. He's howling hey. there. Hey, bud. He's trying it. Hey. <laughs> no. No. He almost flipped that table over. Mm, you're Strong. so cute. Good I want oh, you. I seen this dog yesterday. He's actually got two things hanging between his legs, <laughs> unlike Mac. Yeah, but in there. it was a little gross cleaning up Mac's things, okay? Ow, he just That's nipped why. in my hair. I seen that whenever I went to go pick up Rowan. It was cute. Rowan. Rowan. Hey, Rowan. Rowan. Hi. Hey, buddy. Hey. He's really cute. He is. He's got like a really thick coat. He's he does. Pretty. His tail is I don't think he's full thick. pit bull. I think he's no, mixed with something else. I think so too. And his coloring too makes me think he's mixed with something. His legs are kind of shaped like um, his, that his one pit bull we were going to get. He was awesome. <laughs> he turns his head so much. <laughs> 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 oh, you're cute. <laughs> he likes Daisy too. He keeps giving her kisses. Hey, buddy. Hey. Hey, oh, Daisy. He hasn't showed like any aggression. Daisy still time. hasn't given me an actual kiss. He isn't aggressive, like even, for pit people to say that pit bulls are mean, he's been in the animal shelter with like several dogs and he comes into our house and acts like a sweet little chihuahua. Yeah, the only problem they've had with him so far is peeing. But he's, peeing the house a he's been a stray, he's never been in a house before. Yeah. So you gotta, you gotta potty train him. Yeah. We can't, huh? When? When you're at home, I know you work at stuff, but when when he's at home if he pees you got to get mad at him you scold him and then you take him outside as soon as he pees in the house and then when he goes and actually pees outside give him a treat and a couple times that's all it takes and he knows he'll figure it out like mac when when we're gone he's holding it. and normally like she said daisy when, he, when we're gone mac normally doesn't eat his food we're not at the house he'll wait till we get home probably because he knows he has the food i'm looking in the animal shelter and there's a beagle that just had a puppy it is so cute let me see Aww. That's at the shelter. Yes. Let me see it. No. Did you not see it? Too bad it's yesterday? too bad it's gonna I grow up and not be cute. I Daisy's cute. <laughs> I didn't go look at the dog. I'm kidding, dogs. Daisy. I'm, I'm kidding, girl. I'm working on sit. Right, <laughs> sit. Good boy. Daisy's like I could do Good them too. Boy. And Daisy keeps on. So I already gave you treats. <laughs> I already gave you some. Hey, 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 calm down. Calm down. Come here. Come here. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. There's some more. Good boy. <laughs> Sit. It's so easy to train dogs, really. Like, especially trick training. Like, if you can get them to actually do it easily, like something like sit or lay down, you just get them to do it and then repeat it a bunch of times. Say, good boy, good boy, and pet them and give them a treat. You're a good boy. A you good are. Boy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. <laughs> He's like, oh, so. The thing is, Daisy doesn't even like this treat. <laughs> <laughs> she's like me because he's here. Hey, we're playing boy. outside. Playing out in the little area with Just him. don't eat muddy. it, dude. Just Drop it. don't. Let me see it. Good, Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. His ass is hanging out. <laughs> Go get it. Get it. He's running around. Oh, oh just, my god. You ran, ran through poop, dude. Oh my god. This is going to be so muddy. <laughs> we got to have to clean your feet. Look at you. Tyler. Look at you. That's what she said not to do. Go get the ball. He has so much energy. Come in. <laughs> Go get it. Good boy. Good boy. I love his little sock on that one foot. So cute. <laughs> you got one white foot. Okay, drop it. No, I Good boy. Poop again. <laughs> God. I cannot, like, I mean, there is tons of piles of poop up here, but. Good God. <laughs> oh, always stepping in the poop. Always do. Ow. <laughs> ah. It's been a while since I drank anything. Actually, the plane 
The only way I can rate you is the last time I, I drank anything. Yeah. I'm gonna have a beer while I'm editing my show. Gray's about to hook up some. Making some chicken patties. Chicken patties. <laughs> chicken patties. We're quite hungry. It's been a very long day and we'd be hungry. Ew, don't even. Oh my god. I'm gonna do that. That's nasty. They're frozen. Nasty. Alright. Well, probably hurt your tooth. Let's have a sip of some Red's apple ale. Ugh, it's been a while since I had that. <laughs> so I'm taking a few sips to get used to. But if I had to pick a beer, this would be the beer I drink. So if you want a recommendation for me and you're old enough, of proper try it. age. It's delish. If you don't like beer, this is one of the best beers I've had because it tastes a little bit like beer, but it's more like an apple, an apple taste. And it doesn't. Shut up, Mike! We just took you out, boy. What, what are, are you, you doing? doing? Our house is so dirty, ignore it. <laughs> You've been acting like Beckham. He's been ringing the bells just to see I just to have super potty. I do He's think, on my side. I will say that. <laughs> <laughs> Stretch. I do Stretch. think because oh, yeah. we ran out of his food and he's been eating a different kind of food, his belly's a little weird. <laughs> he's been dookieing. Yeah. Like <laughs> this morning. Oh, dookies. <laughs> <laughs> what noise was that? <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> hey. I was watching one of the old vlogs when he was like one third of the size he is now, and Ty was not ninety five pounds. Yeah, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> you still lay there. <laughs> and Ty said, "I hope he gets big enough that I can ride him." Oh, oh my, my goodness, God. careful. I can ride him. Yeah, I, I, as I was watching, I was like, well, your wish came true because you definitely can ride him Let's now. Go. Come on. No, 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 come on. You're a horsey. You're a horsey. Let's go. Don't actually put your weight on him. He can hold me up. I know, but don't do that. He always, like, watch. <laughs> He'll always sit down. He's I'm sitting chill. on him right now. It doesn't hurt him. He's so strong. He's like, like, what? Man, what are you doing? Why is your wiener on my back? What are you doing to me? <laughs> we normally just sit down and I just fall off the back. I really want to say this in the vlog. I've got to give major props uh, to CVS Pharmacy. Uh, I don't know if you guys have that in other countries or whatever. Uh, but here in the United States, it's just like a pharmacy. You can pretty much get anything there. Uh, but they announced... Uh, earlier today, maybe even yesterday, I seen uh, Hank Green post it and then I also watched it in Phil DeFranco's video. <clears throat> CVS Pharmacy has announced that on October 1st, they are going to stop selling cigarettes or tobacco, uh, which I think is a huge step uh, in the right direction. Personally, I think cigarettes should be illegal. I know I'm sitting here drinking alcohol, but alcohol is nothing compared to cigarettes. Cigarettes kill so many people. It causes cancer, it causes it, it's there, it causes so many problems and it does absolutely no good except make the tobacco companies million not millions billions billions of dollars uh, and th not only that like Phil DeFranco was saying I've never even thought about it this way there's so much money spent on trying to tell people to not smoke uh, and like uh, curing people that are like sick and stuff like taxpayer dollars cigarettes should be illegal that, that's my opinion on it I, they're stupid nothing positive comes out of it if you smoke stop. Stop smoking. That's what Philip DeFranco said. And my dad actually tweeted uh, that he said he's going to stop smoking. I was like, are you actually going to stop smoking? I was like, that means you don't buy any more. Like, quit cold turkey right now. You can do it. There's nothing. It's all in your mind. It's just your mind telling you that you want that nicotine. You don't have to have it. It'll. You probably feel horrible if you don't have it because your brain and your body so used to it. But once you overcome that, once you get past it, even I know it'll, you'll still probably later down the road want a cigarette. You can get past it. It's a mental thing. It's all in your head. So if you smoke, try to quit. Do it not just for yourself, but do it for the family and people around you that care about you. Um, and really, that's a bad way to go about it. Hey, Mac. Hey, bud. <laughs> uh, you really got to do it for yourself. You can't do it for other people. If you do it for other people, well, I, I guess you could do it for other people, but it, 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 you're going to be more successful if you do it for yourself. So if you want to stay alive, you want to be around for as long as possible, Stop smoking cigarettes and good job CVS Pharmacy to stop selling tobacco. By the way, uh, it's estimated that just this year alone, starting in October, they're going to lose like $2 billion this year. So props to them, CVS. Shout out to you guys. And if you want to, uh, tweet them at CVS underscore extra and, and tell them that's awesome. So maybe more companies uh, and stores and shops and stuff like that will uh, follow in their, their footsteps. That would be awesome.
Okay, I always got a grip. I never slip, I never panic. Got my Rolex set to zip it. Run fly through the Atlantic and just like a no way. Alright guys, thank you for watching the vlog. Click the like button down below if you enjoyed it. I'm going to end the night editing a video, listen to some music, uh, and then I'm going to get to bed so I can wake up in the morning and do something. I want to go outside. It's supposed to be nice tomorrow, so I'm looking forward to that. And uh, yeah, subscribe to our channel. We post videos Monday through Friday, and I guess I will see you guys tomorrow. Deuces.